Hey everybody, welcome to the garden. I hope you're having a great day. Shout out to the lemon and lime lovers and everybody in between. It's time for another Ichimoku video. So this video is gonna be a little different. Um, this video is gonna be a bit of a place marker uh, that separates the basic strategy series I've been running on Ichimoku, because that is done. Okay, with this video, that will be done. And now the future videos coming for Ichimoku will be focused on the advanced strategies um, using Ichimoku. Um, I, wanted, I wanted to also highlight a question or two questions I got uh, via Discord uh, in this video. It's kind of what made me want to make the video in the first place. Um, and the questions are, are, are pretty interesting. Uh, it, gave, it gave me a good window of where people's minds are. Uh, at least when they watch my Ichimoku video and what 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 questions are kind of brewing in people when after they watch it um, and uh, Essentially the two questions were and I'm just gonna kind of get down to the bare bones of them because it was a very long uh, Longly stated question was firstly who makes more money swing traders or day traders and secondly can Ichimoku actually make me rich <laughs> so getting on to the the easier question first yes Ichimoku can make you rich <laughs> it, it can um will it is a different question so later in the video I'm gonna you know obviously put Ichimoku on the chart uh, I'm gonna show an unoptimized trading strategy for Ichimoku and I want to show you how profitable it actually is and I'm going to use it to highlight and really show a testimony of how powerful the Ichimoku trading system actually is as a trending indicator. And to and to show you that, yes, Ichimoku itself can make you rich. It's more of a question, will you allow yourself to be? Okay? Now, before we do that, I want to answer the harder question first, which is, who makes more money, swing traders or day traders? Now... This is going to be a generality on the way I answer. Okay, there are outliers on both ends, but there have been many, many different studies on this by many different brokers. I've seen from Fidelity, E-Trade. I've even seen Robinhood. Uh, there's even been some crypto exchanges. There's countless Vanguard. Countless brokers have done this, where they will show you a pie chart of what traders are doing what based off of their account activity and swing traders tend to always outperform anyone who's day trading and scalping uh, on a consistent basis now again this is generalities there are some outliers where there are some top tier you know absolutely out of this world day traders and scalpers that are making a ton a month but there are far more swing traders that are making what they make in a year in a month and that is there's a few reasons as to why that's happening. I will go over them as a swing trader myself, and I would say a successful swing trader myself. I will go over as to why swing traders are making more money on a on a, a consistent basis than than a day trader and scalper. And I'll try to be as unbiased as I can. So, to kind of highlight how big the spectrum is there's a guy named al brooks so if you're not familiar with al brooks he's a day trader scalper he may be the best alive today arguably maybe the best ever he is absolutely an incredible trader he trades mainly purely um uh, candlesticks he is he is an incredible trader i cannot talk talk him up high enough he's an old guy he's been trading probably longer than you been alive um and i will say this with a uh, modicum come of certainty no matter who's listening to this video he's better than you he's a better trader than you and you will it's very unlikely you will ever be as good as him he is he is absolutely an untouchable trader and he's far more uh far more better than, like more better than me he's so good at trading and i'll never forget one of the interviews he had many years ago um that some of the swing traders he knows some that are very close friends make more money than he does in a year in a month and that's it's not even that's not even the worst part of it for him the worst part of it for him which for him it's not bad because he loves to sit in front of the computer he loves charts is that he sits in front of his station 
for hours upon hours. Whereas they who are swing trading an optimal system, who are swing trading consistently and making money consistently, sit, sit in front of a computer for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, make their decision, call it a day and live their life. So Al Brooks, who is a former doctor, by the way, explained of how different their lifestyles are, how more healthy a swing trader's lifestyle is compared to a day trader, it's night and day. That the swing traders aren't just winning financially, they're winning because they're not wasting their time. All right. Now, it may be funner for a person like Al Brooks to be sitting in front of the computer and trading. More power to you. But he, even he, who is probably the best alive, could not deny they are more successful than me at this. Okay. Again, there's some cons to, to the way you swing trade, of course. There's cons. But the pros are absolutely massive. And same thing with day trading. There are massive pros with day trading and scalping, and then there are cons. And just to reiterate how good Al Brooks was, this is the guy that outperformed Two Sigma and Capio. Those are some of the top hedge quant hedge funds in the world. Some of the best algorithmic trading uh, 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 groups ever. And he, a human, outperformed them for over three years. And those are the two we know about. I'm, I'm sure he's outperformed most, most quant hedge funds. And these are the guys that are spending billions a year on making their algos as advanced and optimal as possible. And this guy with his candlesticks outperformed them for three years. Three years. Uh, absolutely nuts. He break he brings in anywhere from fifty to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a month. And he's been doing that for over twelve years. So if you don't understand who I'm talking about, he is so good and he's saying that swing traders, successful swing traders like a George Soros, who's very famous, like a Paul Tudor Jones, they're making more. They've made more in the year than than he will ever make. Okay? It's it that's just how it is because those trades that are successful for a swing trader take so little, so less of an actual actual person's time and are so profitable that uh, you know it will take hundreds of trades to catch up to them if you're day trading and scalping and that's without making any mistakes and that's the gist of it day traders and scalpers they are trading more often they are in the markets more often and they're making more decisions they are going to make more mistakes. A swing trader will make mistakes, but less of the time. And the less mistakes you make, the more money you save. And that is the that is the gist of it. Now, the the pros to being a day trader is you don't have to be as patient. You need to be patient, but you don't need to be as patient. You need to be disciplined, far more disciplined, but not as patient. So if you're trading a specific strategy, whether it's a, a confluence of indicators or it's a specific candlestick structure, as long as you're patient enough to wait for that and disciplined for all your boxes to get checked, as a day trader, as a scalper, you will probably make money, you'll probably be successful. But because you're trading it more often, because you're in the markets more often, you are also uh, more open to variance. That means you're more open to market swings, left or right, up and down, that will go against the probabilities and you will lose more often, all right? You will also make more money shorter term and have more liquid cash on you because you're going in and out faster. But you are also open to being, you know, chopped out more often. Whereas a swing trader, you don't get to make you don't get to actually initiate a trade as often. So you don't need to be as disciplined, you need to be disciplined, but you need to be more patient. Okay? So you need to be on the spectrum of being more patient. And if you can do that, you will make trades less and because you're in the market less, you're open to less variance, and you can go on much longer winning streaks. Your trades will tend to be much larger, okay? So if you're looking at my, like, for example, look at my swing trade record so far in the Discord. I've lost one trade in stocks and one trade in crypto the entire year. I've had probably going on now 40 to maybe 45 crypto trades, and I've had almost, I want to say, 70 stock trades this year. So not, I haven't traded that much, but I've only lost one time in each of those services. Now, that's very high. Don't get me wrong. Like That's extremely impressive, and it's not my normal 
you know, win rate. I don't usually have 97% win rate. I usually am sitting anywhere from, you know, 80, 85, sometimes 75 on a down year on average. But the only way I can have these win rates is because I'm swing trading because I'm not in the market as often. I have to be patient. Whereas the day trader, they don't need to be that way. They just need to be patient enough for their structure, but disciplined enough to follow it. Whereas the swing trader needs discipline, but they need to be patient enough for it to even happen. Now, hopefully that kind of answers the questions, uh, the question of what I was asked. Like, hopefully, hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, let me put on this Ichimoku indicator so I can highlight that what I just said in regards to patience being a swing trader but also uh, the question will Ichimoku make me rich so I'm gonna post this in here real quick so uh, if you've been in my streams and this person was is the reason why they they brought this up I believe I sometimes mess around with the Ichimoku Kinko Hill basic strategy uh, indicator here okay so it's the same as the indicator I use which is the Kavank one here, but this one has the strategy tester built in by Mizuki32, and she has her own basic strategy she uses for Ichimoku, which she herself has admitted is not optimized. It's not optimized, but I wanna use it to show you, even though it's not optimized, because Ichimoku is such a powerful trend indicator, it's still profitable, and it, yes, can make you rich. So let's pop that on here, whoops. Hit the wrong thing there. Sorry. Let's do that now. Okay. So off of, and we're looking at Bitcoin. We'll look at other things too that aren't trending as hard. But Bitcoin being a, a you know, a pretty powerful trending asset, Ichimoku is obviously going to do very well. So her strategy is basically uh, just these three things. Now, it doesn't take into account what the cloud is doing in the future. It doesn't seem to care. Her strategy is, if you have the candles go under the cloud, close under the cloud, you have the Chico span, this green line, under the candles, and then you have a bearish TK cross, which is the blue line crossing under the black line there, uh, that will give you a short. So as long as the candles are under the cloud and those two other parameters are hit, it does not care if the cloud is showing bullish or bearish, it will go short. And then vice versa for longs, right? You are above, the candles above the cloud, closing above, Chico span, or lagging span green line here above the candles and then you have a bullish TK cross which is the blue line crossing the black line it will give you a long signal that alone should not be profitable okay because what's not in here is any sort of optimization on how are you taking profit how are you trailing your like how are you placing your stop like what's your what's your actual risk it's not in here and yet it's not just profitable, it's extremely profitable, okay? It's extremely profitable, and it would have outperformed, I'm gonna say, over, probably over 90% of day traders and scalpers with an unoptimized swing trading strategy. You're looking at over 60 trades, you're looking at almost 4,200% in gains. Now, the caveat is, is how long these trades can last. And this is part of the patience part of being a swing trader. It's not just be waiting to get into a trade, it's also waiting to exit a trade, all right? And that, that actually tends to be quite difficult, believe it or not, especially when you have a very big winner. Now, would you be rich from that? Well, depending on how much money you start with, yeah. You know, if you're, if you're starting with 100 grand, you're looking at what you'd make, over $4 million, yeah, that'd be very great. If you're starting with $1,000, you'd be up $40,000. Right, so I mean, uh, actually, did I might have done the math wrong there? I'm sorry, because I'm, I guess, stupid. Hold on, <laughs> four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, there we go. I, yeah, even I was like, wait, that sounds low. Four hundred thousand dollars if you're using a thousand dollars. Okay, so yeah, it can change your life, but there's a couple things you need to understand. One, this strategy with Ichimoku that she's placed upon here is not optimized, so you're gonna deal with issues like bad trades okay you're gonna have bad trades but if you were just gonna follow this blindly if you want to just follow this blindly only trade bitcoin and do exactly what it tells you to do which i do not recommend by the way but if you were gonna do that you can make money clearly you can make money this does not repaint this is not a, a false strategy tester i've looked into the code it's real this you would have made money okay 
But you would have to deal with a couple things. You would have to deal with, yes, these winners. Look at this wonderful winner. Look at this wonderful winner. Look at this wonderful winner. But would you be able to deal with this? You see this, you see this, like, this these tight trades here? These are majority of these, not all of these, but majority of these here are all losers. And it's not just losers, you know, consecutively. It's losers over a long period of time. Again, not all of them are losers, but enough of them are to where it can cause an issue in staying patient and disciplined using this, this strategy, right? You have, uh, let's see, 3, 6, uh, 9, 10, 11, and then the 12th trade, 1. So you have 11 trades. Let's say all the 11 are losers. And this is over a long period of time, okay? This is from July 2019 until September 2020. Right. Do you understand like what that means? That means you have a long period of time. We're looking at a year, a little over a year of either mediocrity or actual losing. But of course, if you were able to withstand that, you get this, then you get this, then you get this, and then you get this, you get this loser, and then you get this where you're short from about you know, 50, 40,000 and you're still short. We haven't even seen where this is going to close out on Bitcoin, right? So you get, you get these, just these three, four trades that probably make your whole year and then next year, depending on, you know, how much money you're using and, you know, what your actual goals are. All right. So there's going to be these points of time where using a trending indicator like this, in this way, you're going to deal with chop. You're going to deal with market structures that challenge your patience. And if you can't withstand that, then no matter how successful this may be over a span of time, you're going to fail. And what will keep you from actually having life-changing wealth over time is yourself. All right, so that, to answer your question, yes, Ichimoku can make you rich. Many, many trending indicators can make you rich. I think Ichimoku is the greatest trending indicator there is. But if you yourself are not ready to do it, if you're not mentally there, prepared to withstand and persevere this chop, this, this uh, 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 ugliness, then you're going to fail. Okay? And that's, that's all that separates you. And some people can't. Some people are not wired to be this way. They're not wired to be trend traders, not wired to be swing traders. Some people aren't wired to be traders at all. Some people are only wired like Al Brooks to be day traders and scalpers, and they have plenty of success. But, but the math is pretty clear. The math is pretty clear. You could have a hundred beautiful trades in here as a day trading scalper. You can make 400, 500, 600% in this year. Okay. But this one trade here, you probably made this, that one swing trade made half of that in that one trade. Then the next trade, they made another quarter of that. Then the next trade, they made another quarter of that. Then the next trade, they made another quarter of that and they're probably making more than you now. And then this trade, they've made more than you in that whole year. So, you know, just, you have to, you have to be willing to be patient beyond your current belief at this point, all right? You have to, you have to be unbelievably patient to be a successful swing trader. And you have to be unbelievably disciplined to be a successful day trader. If 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 you can't be either, you won't be. You, you can't do either. You won't be either. Okay. You won't be. You won't be a successful day trader or swing trader. So you have to figure that out for yourself. For me, swing trader swing trading comes naturally. And honestly, the more money you make in you know in life, the more the the more viable swing trading becomes. Okay. The more money you make day trading, the harder it is. As long as you you know. As long as you don't increase, you know, if you're trying to increase your actual uh, account size, your trading size, it gets harder becoming a day trader and a, and, a, and a scalper. Swing trader is the opposite. It actually becomes easier having more money. All right. Um, and you know what? And, and let's let's look at some other assets as well. Just so because Bitcoin is a very good example of a trending uh, asset that's going to do well. So let's look at. Um, Let's look at IWM. So let's look at the Russell's 2000 ETF. See how bad it does here. Actually, it's a little bit better than I thought it would be. But it gives me a good example. Even with this unoptimized strategy, you're still up 95%, which is honestly not that good considering how long you know, you've been trading this. But you are profitable. 
you are profitable you have a decent drawdown it's not that bad compared to how profitable you are and you're winning just under four four trades out of ten okay and that's another thing I want to I want to also highlight as a day trader and scalper your odds you want to win way more often than you're losing so you want that 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent win rate where you're winning seven to nine trades out of ten whereas a swing trader you only need a win honestly uh, you want to win anywhere from four to six times all right four to six times out of ten six times out of ten you're a superstar five times that's great four times that's fine as long as you're winning when you win you are dwarfing the losses and in Ichimoku clearly you are dwarfing your losses right you may have this set of losses here that last let's see how long here's your first loss going all the way to over here which is which is actually here right here the short is your last loss that lasted 105 152 days that's that's a large portion of the year you lost you lost probably 152 days here then you had this one winning long and then you had this big winning short you had this loser long another winning short uh another i would say losing long and now you're short okay but these wins i can almost guarantee you out dro drowned out all the losing here you just have to be able to withstand the losing here and a lot of that is emotional but a lot of that's also money management if you're going 100% in or 80% in or 50% in every trade, you your accounts, your portfolio will probably get wiped out before you can start winning these trades that will get you not just back into break even but well into the green. So you have to you have to have the mindset that you don't need to go heavy into every trade when you're trying to trend trade like this. All you need to do is survive the chop, survive the range, because when it trends, you will be able to participate. Ichimoku will get you in. Okay, so that is extremely important. And one of the ways you can actually emotionally get yourself there to be able to withstand all this is to back test yourself, back test and forward test this system yourself. If you want to trade like this, you should back test it yourself. Don't just trust Mizuki's you know, strategy tester. Do it yourself, okay? And obviously, optimize the strategy. This is a, a you know, 36% win rate. That's not that's not that great. It's not the worst for the, considering how much your wins will be. But you can optimize it and jump it up to 40, 45, maybe even 50%. There are plenty of ways to make this more successful. All right. And if you stick with it and you and you you survive the chop, both financially and emotionally, then yes, you will become rich. You absolutely will because the math is there math is there it's not opinion it's there as long as the asset you're trading is trending you are there to be able to make money look at Apple you would have made over a long period of time granted this is a long period of time okay so this is not the most optimal way you have made almost a 1100% which is great but look how long you would have been trading just to make 1100% I shouldn't say just but you know you're going back into the 90s you're going back into the 90s you understand so again you're not making the most you can here but you are making enough so if you're trading something like Apple right and you're trading with a thousand bucks I mean you did you're doing okay but you're far older than you than you were back in the 80s <laughs> you're not life-changing money there not at all but if you're using a larger account and you're trading Apple, then a thousand percent is is absolutely godsend. It's incredible, all right. But the beauty is of today is we have crypto. You have some of the strongest trending assets in the world uh, to use, and then you also have forex. But this is where it gets interesting. So if you were to use use this on forex, what you'll find is Ichimoku doesn't work on everything. Look at look at look at JPY. Look at Ichimoku on JPY. Yes, you're in a killer trade right now, right? You've been long since down here, but look at this. Uh, look at this. Uh, this equity curve. Look at the drawdown. You're not profitable. You're you're winning less than three times out of ten, and this is why it's super important to not get blinded by this win right here, which is incredible. This win might actually bring us bring bring this into a break even. Okay, this win alone, but. But over a long period of time, over 105 trades with this unoptimized strategy, it's not profitable. It's not profitable right now. 
And, I, and if you want to go look to see how many times you lost in a row, I'm sure it's pretty high. So you need to be able to test this stuff out for yourself. You need to be able to have actual hard evidence as to is this sustainable? Will this be able to help me reach my financial goals? And do I have the mentality for it? Do I have the emotional fortitude to deal with this? Because this looks like all losers here. And you would have to survive all this to get to this. To get to this. And it may not be worth it. So, yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video. I just want to highlight that. And yeah, this is a, this is a killer trade. This, will pro this trade looks like it will probably bring this profitable. Okay? This one trade. But is it worth, would you have been able to get to this point and deal with all this? I, I don't know. That's a long time. That's years. Years. But this, this one trade right here, it is life changing. It is life changing. That's over, we're looking at almost 3,500 pips. That is life changing. Depending on your account, that is absolutely a life changing trade. Okay? All right. So I think, uh, I think that's all I want to go over. Hopefully, I answered the question. Hopefully, you know, for the people who didn't ask the question, it's somewhat interesting. Um, and uh, if you have more questions, let me know, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah. And look forward to the. Uh, next set of Ichimoku videos that are coming out. They're going to be far more uh, advanced stuff. They're going to be looking at uh, time time theory and Ichimoku wave theory and uh, price observation. So I'm pretty excited to share that with everyone. Uh, they're pretty cool concepts and uh, they, they might they might they might kind of blow your mind here and there, you know, or they might make you scoff and be like, ah, that's stupid. So it'll be interesting to see some people's reactions. All right, everyone. Remember, be patient, be vigilant, and be nimble. Love you guys. Take care.